China has unveiled more details about a new national security law being drafted for Hong Kong. It says Beijing will set up a new national security bureau in Hong Kong, supervised by the central government, to crack down on dissent in the city. Critics fear it will crush wide-ranging freedoms that are seen as key to Hong Kong's status as an autonomous financial centre. Let's cross over to correspondents Matthias Billinger in Beijing and Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong. Uh, Matthias, first with you, what are those details? Yeah, these details are uh, quite shocking to those who might have been hoping uh, that uh, this might be some kind of a milder version or that a lot of the jurisdiction uh, might still stay in Hong Kong. So the Hong Kong government will form a, a national security agency chaired by the chief executive and that national security agency, this committee, will also appoint the judges uh, that uh, will handle these cases. So this is one very problematic case for from uh, the uh, point of the rule of law. But then China will also establish its own national security agency, and this national security agency will en engage in intelligence gathering. But it has also the right to take over some of the cases, a small number, as was said in this communication, but nobody, of course, knows what this small number is. The, uh, the, these commun the communication, that was not the text of the draft, but it was a summary of some of the key points of the draft did not really specify what will contain a crime. These, these uh, uh, four crimes uh, uh, in uh, detail mm -hmm. there, uh, like sedition, secession, um, they, are very, uh, they, they are not very detailed, uh, they are very uh, broad, so we do not really know what will consist as, uh, as a crime in the end. Okay, thanks Matisse. Let's jump over to Hong Kong and Phoebe. How are people there taking this news? Well, this piece of the news uh, has, set, has set shockwaves across the city. As mentioned, um, the, the, uh, the content of the law is still like very fake at this stage, but this is worrying enough for many citizens in Hong Kong, um, especially the opposition came. Um, some of the pro-democracy figures, they, uh, they, they criticize the new legislation is uh, actually a nightmare for the city, that um, they, they are afraid that it, it, it is going to hinder um, the remaining judicial independence of a city because um, the judges will be appointed by the chief executive which is not democratically elected in Hong Kong then um, they, they, um, they are afraid that the remaining independence judiciary and the power to check and balance will uh, fade away under the new legislation so um, people are really mm. afraid and also the new Department of uh, National Security agents um, sure. there are so many details that we don't know but um, the opposition came they fear that this is going to be a tool for the regime to crack down on oh. democracy movement like Further. Well, what do you think will happen next then, briefly, Phoebe? Will the democracy movement continue? What can we foresee? Well, at the moment, there have been calls, like whether online or offline, uh, to ask people to uh, uh, come out to say no to national security legislation. But uh, given the fact that um, the government in Hong Kong is still imposing the um, uh, social distancing restriction that uh, they prohibit uh, public gatherings of uh, over 50 people. So um, it's really hard for the people um, or activists to go on the street right now. But uh, we see the momentum here, like people are definitely very concerned about the new law so people are finding ways in a more peaceful and legitimate way to express their concerns like online um, signing statements or like some unions are now calling for strike but uh, we are not like very optimistic that um, a massive march could take place in the shortcoming future okay thank you to you both Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong and Matthias Billinger in Beijing for us